One of the best features of the iPhone is definitely Safari or the web browser. Um, I'm using Wi-Fi here so things are going to load a little faster than they normally would. Uh, in a minute I'll, I'll do the 3G test for everyone. Um, of course rotating the phone to landscape gives you a landscape view of the web page. And I'm loading the Apple page here which is pretty media intensive um, and you can see how fast it loaded. Uh, over here uh, to basically to zoom in on something just tap your finger and it gives you a closer view so you can see. For the most part though I found that leaving it zoomed out I can, I can pretty much see the entire page um, without having to use glasses or anything. It formats the page for you. And the touch is extremely, ac extremely accurate um, for a touch screen, surprisingly. I'll come up here and uh, as you can see these tiny little menus, I'm going to hit iPhone. And it's, it's very accurate over here to store, pull that up. And as you can see it's not blazing fast, it's obviously not as fast as what you would find on a Mac or a PC, but for a cell phone um, there, there isn't a faster browser out there. It's great if you're a heavy internet user. Bookmarks are uh, really great. Um, they give you some bookmarks to start out with, but uh, you'll definitely want to add your own bookmarks with the iPhone, it just makes navigation faster. Load MSNBC's website here. And uh, you can even watch full episodes of The Office on NBC.com, which is pretty cool. Uh, I watched an episode this morning. You can also add new tabs or new windows. And then subsequently delete those windows. So Safari is uh, excellent, works great with web forums. Um, pretty much anything that does not involve video content with the exception of YouTube uh, works really well in Safari. I have not had run into any compatibility issues uh, yet.